Hi. I get these from all, I get these questions from all you guys on YouTube all the time. How's he doing that with the rod? What? He ain't got no nuts. You don't know where to put the rod. You need a gimbal, all that kind of stuff. All right, well, here's kind of how it works. You take your rod, you take the reel, and you set it on your hip. This part of the rod goes on the inner side of this thigh right here. See how that goes on my thigh? Then in the back, the rod butt goes underneath your hamstring on your opposite side, which is your right side. So it's much like a seesaw. My arm here works as the fulcrum. So that tries to stay as still as possible. Whenever the fish hits, what I have to do is, is reel down on the fish real fast, and then I seesaw back like this. So if you guys, most of us, little kids, and as little kids, we are all we're on seesaws, and you know, the guy that's heavier or puts more pressure is the guy that ends up on the bottom. Well, we want to be on the bottom because that means we're putting the most pressure. So when that fish hits, we're almost to where we would fall if the fish wasn't on the other end. So we use all of our body weight on the back of the rod, and then as soon as the rod tip comes up, we reel down as fast as we can, and then we sit back down on the rod butt again. So what's happening is all of the uh, weight is being used. Our body weights is what's used mainly to catch it. We use our hands to hold on, and we use our arms to reel, our hands and arms to reel, but for the most part, it's our body is uh, our body weight is what does most of the work. If you do it that way, you're able to land this huge fish. And if you don't do it that way, smaller ones, you know, even under 100 pounds will really put a beating on you. So you have to make sure that you put your body weight and use this particular technique. And for all of those out there that, of you that think you can use a gimbal, we can't even hold the rod out uh, for more than, I don't know, a minute with a gimbal. Because this thing out here, is just way too much weight. None of us can hold it. Nobody can hold it. Not even the strong man that I could hold, that I had on the boat, could hold this rod like this for that long without getting tired. So you want to use the rod, rest, rest it on your body, and then use your body weight to land it. That's how you want to take care of it. So you guys watch this. I'll demonstrate it for you here in a moment. <laughs> 